Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I tell you what, man, we're almost at 5,700 subscribers and we've added almost 700 subscribers this week. We are flying. And, uh, you know, try to spread, the more we spread the uh, content, the more people uh, like, like and comment on each video, the faster it gets into that algorithm and then the faster we're gonna grow as a page. We're almost, you know, 10,000 is just right around the corner. I mean, when you add 700 in a week, you're looking at 4,300. You're looking at five and a half, six more weeks. We're giving away that trail, uh, that trolling motor. We're giving away a transducer. We're giving away gift cards. We're working on a couple other things at this point in time. I hope I can get those done. But also, guys, I want y'all to check out something. Um, a good friend of mine, Asleep at the Real. He has got an awesome channel. Um, he, I learned a lot from him. He learns a lot from me. We talk back and forth and discuss things because... Um, I love Garmin. I love everything about him, but I don't always know it. And sometimes he can test things because me, I got to go to this stupid job. That's where I'm at now. I'm finna go in here to go to work. But uh, but I will be on the water tomorrow, baby. I will be on the water for the next seven or eight days straight. That's right. Filming a lot of shows. A lot of new things coming. Don't forget we got live going this weekend. We're going to try to do a little short live. Um, we're going to do product showcase with chattyboys.com. But let's get into today's video. Here's what we're going to do. Um, forever and ever, I've always talked about how important calibration of the uh, live scope transducer is. And I would always have to show you the, the um, calibration and then show you the other video with the split screen. I'm able to show you the calibration. We're going to do calibration. We're going to mark a tree. We're going to watch that tree come up on the GPS map because I'm able to film two units at one time now. We're going to watch that Jeep that come up on the map. You'll be able to see where it's at in the cone and understand that when you mark a GPS point, if you don't have it calibrated, it marks where the boat's at. But when you have that compass calibrated and you see a tree, which is what we're going to mark, when you see that tree on the uh live scope and you mark it on the live scope it's going to mark it not where the boat's at but where the actual tree at so let's get right into this thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing hit the bell hit the bell and let's go because i'm gonna tell you what we're well on our way guys we're well on our way let's go all right guys we already know how important or we say it is calibration of your compass but this today we're going to go straight in sorry i had to cut off a little bit but i want you to see this picture in picture it is awesome um here we go we're going to calibrate our compass scroll down to calibrate compass you know the you know the routine on that like the way i like to do it turn that trolling motor 90 degrees put it on a slower speed and put it on automatic don't touch it you know turn that prop on on the uh where it's constant on 90 degrees and go now here's what's cool watch over and i have to click okay i don't know why that pops up all the time now watch the boat now you'll see me turning this is what i love about this this split screen you get to see and get a feel for what all is going on instead of looking at this dead gum screen where it says calibration in progress you see me turning um you also see um you'll also see the cone uh pop up here in just a second and when, what that is, is when it gets calibrated, it knows where that cone's at. So here we are. We're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning. We're going through our whole calibration process. And being able, you're finna really get a great idea of just how valuable this compass calibration is. And it's just, it's a it's something that you need to do, not only make the AHRS work, which is, which in turn, you know, controls whether or not when you switch from forward to down or perspective it switches automatically but here is where it really comes into play now all right do you see the cone appear now that is an accurate representation of where your cone is it, it it's accurate to how far out it goes and everything you notice how i was on the bank and that and that uh and on the live scope, you can see I was shining on the bank. Now, here's what's crazy. Now, watch me as I come across these two marked points. There's two marked points. I'm coming across them with the cone. Look at there. Look at that. Coming into the screen right there. So, that and, and they're out at 35 feet. And if you look on the map, you'll see. They're not where the boat's at. They're out at 35 feet. Actually, a fish on that one. 
It's pretty cool. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to mark a tree. I'm going to go find a tree here in just a second. Um, you see, as we're getting closer, closer to those two marked waypoints, they're getting closer on the live scope screen. Now, also, you see how I adjusted the, the, the forward distance out there and the cone shrank some because it is an accurate representation of how far the cone is pointing from the boat. And because it's calibrated, um, this was also filmed on the same day that I had absolute heck getting a good picture. And the water was so muddy, so horrible. But, and that's, and I struggled with it. I mean, I had the little small uh, dead zones that people talk about it. I mean, I, I did not have the best day in terms of finding a pitcher. Um, I was able to catch some fish and do some fishing, but it, you could definitely see some of the little dead spots and dead zones in this. This is something that I struggled with that day. And it just show, comes to show you that even even I, as much as I like to fish and, and uh, try my hardest to get a good, clear picture, that I do struggle myself. So here's what we're going to do. I scroll out, notice that cone get longer and longer. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking right here. Um, and like I said, that my little map section is kind of cutting it off a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to mark one of these tall trees. And what I want you to do is notice that when I scroll over and mark it, the moment I mark it, notice not only is it put the waypoint where the boat, it doesn't do that. It puts it where the tree is. And that is important for you guys that crappie fish, you guys that bass fish. It is just so important because you get a real accurate, accurate GPS coordinates that you can return to time and time again. That's why those two points earlier in the, the, the brush piles when it got calibrated, you can see they were 35 feet from the boat. But here we are. I think we found a tree here. It's about 42 foot away. We're going to scroll over to the tree. And we're going to put a waypoint down on the tree. Now, watch it appear on the map below. It's pretty cool. See, I'm going into the waypoint section right there. Now, watch this. Bam. Do you see it pop up? It's number 80. Now, notice it didn't pop up where the boat was at. It popped up away from the boat. And that is the beauty of calibrating your compass. Accurate what uh, accurate uh, GPS coordinates. Now, next time I come, I won't be sitting where the boat is trying to search in a circle. Now, you also notice as I'm shining, as that cone is shining toward the bank, you notice at the very outer perimeter right there, there was some grass. But that lets you know. I mean, now, if I wanted to mark a, that grass, it's not going to mark reason, it where the tree is. It's going to mark we, it on the other side. We've covered this before, it's just, but it's very, never with the two screens where you can really see the live scope and how it's represented on the map. A lot of times I'm having to take one video and try to put it with the other, and that's very hard to do. These were put, these were recorded at the exact same moment, so you get very, very accurate representation of, of what's going on as we calibrate, as we mark GPS points, as we look at other points that have already been stored. I ain't stupid now. I took my coordinates off screen. I'll you know, get on my brush pile. Now, that's my brush pile. I mean, I'm putting the claim, putting the lock on that thing. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget, go check out Asleep at the Reel. And also, I like Matt down at 3 Pound Fishing. I've been watching a lot of his videos lately. Um, he has a different style, totally different style. And I like that. I mean, I'm not I'm not them. They're not me. Uh, Asleep at the Reel, I'm not him. He's not me. He, he, you know, I bass fish. I white perch fish or a crappie fish. I'm allowed to go catch a catfish, man. I'm allowed to run some yo-yos and some and some trot lines. That's just how I do it. I'm from Louisiana, baby. And I got to teach Matt how to say that. It's Louisiana and it's Darbone. They, a lot of them say Darbone. I, I don't know. Darbone. Or we call it the bone. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get to 10,000.